In this work, we present a novel mesoscale model for computing anisotropic and asymmetric friction for contacts in rigid body simulations. We compute custom frictional properties based on the surfaces configuration at each contact, as well as the use of small-scale surface geometry to compute a plausible friction response. Effectively, we couple the visual appearance of surface roughness to the friction model. Our model allows for strong visual consistency with the rendered surface. As such, friction forces increase with surface roughness as well as displaying anisotropic and asymmetric behavior when appropriate. We propose a friction model based on the phenomenon of plowing. At microscales, plowing occurs when asperities on one surface dig into or grind against the material on another surface. To encode directional effects, we let the mesofacet orientation include both the slope of the plow and the plowing direction. To capture asymmetric behavior, we also need to consider the possibility of the mesosurface being oriented away from the movement direction, and our model accounts for the one-sided nature of this behavior. We compute friction based on surface normal variations surrounding each contact point. We construct an orthographic viewing volume around each contact point with the goal of projecting the surface geometry surrounding the contact onto the viewing plane at the center of the volume. Each surface is then rendered into a frame buffer such that a subtexture of the frame buffer contains the rendered normal texture from the contact patch of each surface. We use the fragment shader to evaluate our friction model for each rendered fragment in the contact patch of each surface. The final aggregate friction coefficient is computed for each direction by averaging the coefficients stored in the subtextures. In this example, a box with rough texture is interactively dragged across a plane with a sawtooth texture. Pulling the box against the gentle slope of the ridges also produces some friction but pulling against the steep slope of the ridges produces very large friction and the box sticks, whereas pulling the box along the direction of the ridges allows the box to easily glide. Here a worm is modeled using several boxes with a sawtooth normal texture. A distance joint contracts and expands the relative distance between the boxes, which causes the worm to begin to crawl forward. This emergent behavior is only possible due to the asymmetric capability of our friction model. In this tumbling bunny example, an inclined plane is embossed with a teapot logo using a normal map to create a thin ridge. The bunnies begin sliding at different rates due to different surface roughnesses, and some of them tripped and start to tumble once they reach the ridge. Here stacks of boxes of normal texture emulating acrylic, oak, and sawed PVC. Applying a small impulse to the second from bottom cube and each stack demonstrates the effects introduced by our friction model. The acrylic cube is smooth and the impulse causes it to shoot clear off the stack. The PVC material is the roughest and moves the least, but is disturbed in such a way that causes some angular motion. In this example, the normal texture of each plane is changed to exhibit different roughnesses corresponding to concrete, cast iron, steel, and smooth plastic. As expected, the friction increases with roughness and the box stops sliding earlier on concrete compared to the smoother surfaces. A similar behavior is observed for chain bolas thrown around at a metal rod. In the case of the smooth rod, the bola slides off, whereas for the rough rod, the tension in the chain causes it to stick. We found that behavior produced by our contact model is sometimes affected by parameter settings of the simulation pipeline. Specifically, friction behavior is coupled to texture resolution. This is due to computing an aggregate friction coefficient by averaging the subtextures, and salient texture features can therefore be washed out. Lower texture resolutions tend to produce larger friction. On the other hand, frictional effects may also be increased by reducing the patch size. This is due to the fact that the spatial resolution of the subtexture increases as the patch size reduces. However, despite these deviations, we found that consistent behavior can be achieved for a large variety of parameter settings. 
We sometimes found it useful to align the contact frame with specific local directions. Here we see the effect of using automatic contact frame alignment versus a globally aligned frame. With contact frame alignment, the example demonstrates the expected anisotropy and asymmetry, whereas the motion for a fixed globally aligned frame exhibits isotropy. In this example, one of the tangent directions is aligned with the threading of the bolt by using a callback function. This allows for more precise sampling of the friction limit surface in directions that are critical to achieve the expected behavior. Please see our paper for further details.